Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will tell you about the top skills you must learn in digital forensics. Think about the wide range of devices involved in cybercrime today. Laptops, mobile phones, external storage devices, smart devices, etc. Digital forensics professionals are called in to acquire evidence from such devices using scientific, tested methods. As you can guess, a digital forensic professional must be able to perform forensics on this wide range of devices. Here are the top skills to learn if you want to become an expert digital forensics professional. Computer Forensics Laptops and personal computers are used on a regular basis by people all over the world. These devices run any of the following operating systems, Windows, Linux-based, or Mac OS. We recommend starting with learning about how you can perform Windows forensics. Memory Forensics Our laptops and personal computers have a temporary storage area called the RAM. When our devices are shut down, data on the RAM is lost. During a forensic investigation, when a suspect's computer is found to be in the powered-on state, a digital forensics professional can perform memory forensics to recover data on the RAM. Evidence found in memory has helped solve some critical investigations. Network Forensics All our devices are exchanging information through the internet, called as network traffic. There are special tools that help us capture network traffic to and from our computers. Knowing how to interpret that information is a highly sought-after skill. File System Forensics We store a large number of files on our computers. The operating system follows a well-defined structure to store all our files. Cybercriminals like to hide away files on their computer or delete files when they suspect that the police is after them. File System Forensics helps to recover deleted files and files stored using unconventional techniques. File Format Forensics Every single file that we store on our computers, be it Word documents or PDF files or image files, they all follow a specific internal structure. When you understand how every file is structured internally, it will help you uncover any abnormalities that cybercriminals introduce into files. Mobile Forensics We use our mobile devices running either Android operating system or iOS so often that it knows a lot about us. It is like our own personal journal, having details about who we communicated with, the locations we have been to, our shopping habits, etc. Mobile devices typically help uncover a wealth of information during a forensic investigation. I hope you have an idea now about the top skills you must have to become a digital forensics professional. The best part is you can develop all these skills by yourself. In another video, we present how you can learn digital forensics by yourself. You can find the link to that video in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!